Hi everyone, I'm Tracy, a passionate upcycler and sewing enthusiast. I'm so excited to be partnering with Adobe Illustrator to show you text pattern. This feature is perfect for creating seamless patterns and unique designs, and I'll be taking you guys through the entire process step by step. If you love designing your own patterns, you're going to be thrilled with how text to pattern can accelerate your workflow. I've been soaking up the incredible inspiration here in Spain from the stunning architecture to the vibrant colors. Today, I want to bring some of that inspiration to life in my designs. First, let's open Adobe Illustrator and start a new project. I've created this mood board full of captivating summer ambiance for Madrid. A mood board helps me decide on a color story before creating a pattern. I'll be using text to pattern in Adobe Illustrator to design a custom pattern that captures this essence. Start creating a custom pattern, go to your toolbar, select the shape tool, draw out the area you want your pattern to fill. Now go up to the window menu, select it, and scroll down to generate patterns. A window will pop up giving us a few settings we can adjust. Click on color and tone. Here you can adjust presets, the number of colors, and specify the colors. I'm going to specify my colors from my mood board. Once done, unclick the setting. You can also explore some style effects. You get an option for geometric, flat design, or doodle. I'm going to select the geometric effect. When you finish adjusting the settings of your choice, click on the prompt box and describe the custom pattern you want to generate. Be specific and use descriptive words only. I'm going to type floral vintage watercolor, then click generate. After some loading, it will give you three variations. I wanted to see what this prompt would look like in a different style effect. So I tried the flat design and the doodle effect. I also wanted to see what the prompt would look like if I just removed all of these style effects. If you don't like the options, you can try other prompts and it will give you more variations. It even saves the prompts you use when you hover over the variations. When you decide on the pattern you like, you can hover over it, hit the button here, and click Edit Pattern. I chose this pattern specifically because I loved how the leaves were shaped as well as the flowers, and there wasn't too much negative space within this pattern. The pattern vectors are completely editable, and that's the really exciting part. You see how this flower, it wasn't like completely colored in to like match the rest of the petals, so I just readjusted the shape and filled those petals in to match that flower specifically. I also went ahead and clicked some of these leaves and just recolored them. I deleted some shapes that I didn't think fit within the pattern, so I selected those, removed them, then I readjusted the size of this leaf right here so it would fill in that space I deleted. After you finish adjusting your pattern, you can click done. I love editing a pattern to match my own unique style and I can really do that by refining the color and tone. Go to the edit menu and select edit colors. Slide over to generative recolor, click that and you will get a window that pops up. This tool will generate and recolor your pattern to match your mood or theme. And again, for any generated prompts, you want to use specific and descriptive words. I was looking for a vintage summer color palette. I generated the prompt again, but this time I just added some colors from my mood board to guide the prompt. And I just kept generating different color palettes until I found three that I liked. I always save my patterns to my swatches so I can use it for tech packs or to edit colors for future projects. Don't forget that you can also scale your patterns by hitting your object, then going up to the object window, selecting transform, and then scrolling to scale. Now you'll get the scale window and you can change the scale percentage. So from 100, I'm changing it to 300 to get a bigger floral. And make sure that only the transform pattern box is clicked, not the object. And now you can scale it and you have a larger floral and you can also do this to make a smaller ditzy floral so just change the percentage to like 50 and now your pattern is a lot smaller and there you have it a seamless editable and scalable custom pattern created using text to pattern in just a few steps I sent the design to be printed on fabric and I'm so happy with the results it turned out so beautiful on this bamboo jersey if you're as excited about designing your own fabric as I am, be sure to try text to pattern in Adobe Illustrator to make your designs a reality. Thank you guys so much for watching.